Okay, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to add DOF to an HDRI. So let's go. First we turn on the NVDRI rendering and we add we go for the 8K, it's better, it's faster. And now we've added. So I've made an upgrade on, on this product, so now it only loads the environment map. S the, it's the only thing, so we have like to set up everything. So now we turn it on and it should start to appear. Here we have it. Let's go and add a camera. Okay, camera one. Let's change it to camera one. Now to add off, we need to change some settings here. So first we need to add ground, so we go here and we have could be this one, if I need sphere with ground, if you need sphere with ground. We go for this one. Now we're gonna see that we have a ground. But it is deformed, right? If we zoom out, we can see it has like this weird looking. What we need to do is put the camera right here in the center. So we go here to the parameters, at zero, zero, and on the height, on the hips one, we don't we we don't need to do anything. We just control the height. So for this example, I'll just set up the height of the you know, a person has head or eyes. Could be like 170 for a male or a female, tall one. And you can see now it's all good. The thing is, we cannot use this one to adjust the camera because it's going to change the Y and the Z. So, let's put it back. It's one of the limitations. But if we go here and rotate the camera on the Y axis, you can see it's always good. And it's good for this as the this product uh, the green fields because there's no there's no obstacles in the way. And as such it won't it won't have any deformations. We can render it and it will always come up. What we need to do is change the focal length. Because this is an HDRI and it has limitations on size, right? So if we focus too too close to the to the image, we will get this like blurry kind of look. But if if we place it back, like if we move the lens further away, like to twenty-eight, here we go, we have like a nice look, nice sharp look. Can move this one to say 28 too. It's a bit closer, it's still good enough. Or we can move to 22. Uh, maybe 35 would be okay for this example. It's nice and sharp. Now, if you want, we can add the DOF. No, nice. Get the feel. We'll just go here and turn it on. This time it's too far away. Let's put it closer. Let's increase this one to five. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have 
a sphere, primitive. Let's put in top view to see where our shield lies. Relation to the camera. the camera back here we go we have the depth of field we can move the camera or the camera or the object I would most like it and that's it we have depth of field